What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. It is John with ERB Sports. Boy, that just rolls off the tongue so much nicer than Eat Rip Bat. Wanted to just jump on and make a real quick video, cover a couple topics, some things coming up. Just make sure I've got some regular content out there. Um, so here goes. First of all, thanks for the shout out, Ziggy No. Really appreciate that. I saw your content this morning uh, or midday, I think. Saw my uh, my name at the very uh, end of your video. So that was pretty cool. I really appreciate that uh, shout out. Really always enjoyed your content. Hopefully maybe someday in the future we could jump on a live together. I think that would be pretty fun. Definitely probably have a lot in common. And if you're going to the national, um, I'm actually gonna go there this year for the first time. Um, it'll be my very first national. We're gonna go there, drive from Indiana to New Jersey. We're gonna go hang out there for about four days. Uh, I'm gonna check off the 49th state that I'll visit, the state of Delaware, leaving only the state of Vermont as a place that I have not visited. So that'll be pretty exciting. Uh, I don't know if you guys can hear what sounds like rainfall. My wife is outside uh, watering flowers right now and kind of spraying things. So figured I'd make this video really quick before we go and watch another episode of Bel Air. So. Topics for today. I sent my wife to the Oak Creek, Wisconsin card show that um, that Step in the Box mentions that he goes to all the time. Step in the Box, Brett, a uh, friend of mine who I've never met, uh, but I've chatted with him quite a bit over the years on the Messenger. And always really good, uh, responsive, definitely have a lot of fun uh, engaging in hobby talk with Brett. So I sent her to the Oak Creek card show and said, go and let me know if you find anything. Well, she comes back from the card show with this. And she says, this is the only thing that I got at the card show. And I said, what did you get? She says, well, I got an Elio Castroneves autograph, photograph, where he scratched off the two time Indy 500 winner. This was apparently after he'd won the third Indy 500 in 2019. And somehow somebody got this autograph at one of the races or something like that. And so they were selling it at the card show for $3. She thought that was a good deal. So she came home and bought that for me. I think that was pretty cool because when you go to a card show, many times you're just thinking you're going to find sealed product. You're going to find, you know, your singles, you know, Bowman, whatever, Prism. But lo and behold, she finds an Elio Castroneves. I don't know if I can fit that on the camera. Uh, an Elio Castroneves autographed photo. So that's pretty cool. Next topic, uh, US Open is tomorrow. The US Open golf tournament starts at the Country Club in Brookline, Massachusetts. I placed a few wagers. Uh, nothing crazy, just a dollar each again. Uh, here are my top four picks that I am going with at the present time. Now in DraftKings, uh, you can obviously change bets as the tournament kind of plays out. So if guys are, let's say in the top 10, maybe not leading and their odds look good and maybe you think they have potential, you want to double down, do those sorts of things. But right now going in, I've got four golfers that I am picking. I've got Colin Morikawa. I believe he is at 30 to one. I've got Louis Oosthuizen. Always plays pretty well, has had pretty much an off year. He's 40 to one. Cameron Smith, who's never won a major, but I do think he is due for a win. Although maybe the Masters tournament suits him better. Uh, he, I think was at 22 to one, not mistaken, maybe 23 to one. And then I've got Brooks Kepka. Brooks Kepka is already a multi-time um, champion of the US Open. I think he was 40 to one. I don't know that his recent form has been that great. But I figured going in, those are my four golfers. There was uh, plenty of other choices I could have taken. But right now, going into the first round, looking at the odds, those are the golfers I'm going to go with. If I look at the end of tomorrow for round one and I see some kind of other golfers that are in the mix, I'll definitely consider them as well. So that is topic number two. Topic number three, the sports car dad had a video today where he, he kind of played a... a uh, or mentioned a, a inspirational um, video that 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 was many many years old, probably sixty years old. And anyway, he said that uh, you know the, the kind of the, the premise of the video was that um, when you have 
uh, a feeling in your head about whether you're gonna be successful or not be successful, that it's pretty much all on you. What is in your head is, is, is what you make of it. And so um, many of you know I'm a competitive eater and every time I've gone out to the table lately, I've gone into stacked contests with top 15 eaters in the world and I've come to the realization I am sick and tired of finishing eighth uh, in a 12 person contest or seventh in a nine person contest or seventh in an eight person contest. You get the idea. I am sick and tired of doing that. So I'm writing it down on a piece of paper, committing to the threshold of capacity where I think I need to be in order to compete with the top six at every contest, no matter who is in that contest and I am committing to that, and I will not take the table again in an actual MLE contest until I think I am ready, because I believe that is the only way for me to get to Nathan's, is to not keep going to the table and expecting some miracle. I've gotta put in the effort, I've gotta put in the time, and I've gotta to commit to a, an approach that's going to get me there. So that's that topic. And then the last topic, uh, in a couple of days here, we've got the Midwest Monster uh, card show, I think 350, 400 tables over in Fishers. That's my hometown. Not really my hometown hometown, but it's my adopted hometown. I live in Fishers. I've lived here for many years. Uh, it's literally five miles down the road. Really much looking forward to going to that two-day event. Might go to the trade night as well. Uh, don't necessarily know what I'm going to bring with me yet, but really excited about that. Really interested to see how many different dealers come to this event versus those that might come to the national. And hopefully it's a really good time. If I know Andy from the Indie Card Exchange and the J&J &J Sports Card Show folks that put this event on, they're gonna stop at nothing from, you know, nothing short of making this event a very fun event, a very engaging event for the, uh, the you know, the patrons that are coming there to, uh, to visit over the two days. And hopefully it will be a very, very fun time. So. That's all I have for you guys tonight. Uh, really quick video, just wanted to make something to kind of get a few shout outs in. I mentioned a few things coming up. And so like, subscribe, share, comment down below. And if you would, um, please share this with your friends. Tell them, tell them about the channel, tell them about the rebranding and look for more card content coming up over the weekend. Take care, everybody.